Sundown, February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. 16th? Oh, fuck. Two days after Valentine's fuck. Day. I, I was just out for an entire day. We did a we did, we did a shoot the other day in a some apartment in, in, in Soho. In New York. I honestly want to live there. 2.2 million, apparently, so a you're, lot you're of price about range. There with, your, with your game winnings. Oh, yeah, a couple more game show winnings, and there we are. Uh, but this rundown on February 16th is brought to you by C4 Energy. Energy you can feel. C4 Energy is the secret fuel behind Barstool's energy. C4 Energy is fueling Barstool talent to work hard every single day. I'm looking around and I can tell everyone here is on C4. C4 Energy has zero sugar, zero calories, and zero carbs. With clinically studied Carnos, Carnosin, where's Billy Football? Carnosin Beta Aline. Got it. And 200 milligrams of caffeine for elevated performance. Get C4 Energy at c4energy.com, Amazon, and retailers nationwide like Walmart and 7-Eleven, C4 Energy. All right, rundown. First topic, Kansas City Chiefs had their Super Bowl parade yesterday. You had Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, saying everybody doubted them. No one thought they were going to even make the playoffs, uh, which doesn't seem true. But Stephen <laughs> Che did have a video where it was mm, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, Chiefs, bottom of the division. So I guess some people were saying that. Not everybody, but some. Chase's predictions were wild. Uh, he had the Texans making the playoffs, I believe. Yeah. Uh, he had the Chiefs in last place. Like, his preseason predictions were... Well, it's the data. It's not Steven. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. It's the numbers. Yeah. yeah. Numbers don't lie. I mean, they were horrendous. AFC West. So I have the Chargers uh, winning it at 11-6. Uh, and six. I have Every team being above 500 in this division. Uh, the Chiefs in last at 9-8. and eight. Uh, the wow. Raiders I like, and the Broncos, three playoff teams from this division. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The Chiefs, wow. Oh. What do you think ha- changes with the Chiefs? Well, it's Tyreek Hill, who's arguably uh, their best player. I think, you know, uh, obviously the argument can be, can be made for Patrick Mahomes and yeah. Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones, et cetera. But, uh, yeah, the, the Chiefs take a step back. Wow. So the Chiefs missed the playoffs. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, yeah. Travis Kelsey saying nobody expected the Chiefs to make the playoffs. It's crazy. But, like, to a degree, the Chiefs were a little bit slept on in the preseason. Like, people are like, oh, Tyreek Hill's gone. They, uh, yeah. and the Broncos they were, are better. People yeah, the think. Broncos mm-hmm. are better. The Chargers, like, they right. got Khalil Mack. Even the Raiders, like, oh, maybe they're going to uh, build on last right. season. So, the Chiefs weren't – it wasn't like everybody was at the playoffs. But they're, the hype on them, especially, you know, the Bills, Bengals, I feel like everybody was all over. I, I think there is some – Travis Kelsey has gone overboard. But I think there is some truth to to what he's saying. He wanted to have fun at the parade and just say 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 a sound yeah. bite, make a fart noise in the microphone yeah. like he did. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but saying the Chiefs wouldn't even make the playoffs is just insane. That's like insane. maybe not the Super Bowl champs; they were like the third favorite in Vegas. But not even making the playoffs is ridiculous. A little bit ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and then it, uh, what, uh, Patrick Mahomes was on Jimmy Kimmel, and he had. A pretty great quote where he was talking about the chain smokers and DJ Khaled being at their like after party. He's like, they had all the music you would need, every genre. That's all you need, just those two. Clemmer I'll had, be honest, that sounds awesome. Chain smokers and DJ Khaled? <laughs> yeah. That's who you'd, that, you'd that's want the two that? That you, that would I mean, they wouldn't the be the, to? well, first of all, it's the three, the chain smokers are two, but I like, I like the, I like, I like EDM shit music and then DJ Khaled just plays other people rapping. Like, that is pretty awesome. I always think about when I went, like, in my head, when I, I went to Super Bowl I'm mad, I'm like, what does that after party look like? Mm-hmm. I always think it's, like, more at a club. But I guess now I know it's at the team hotel. I think it's there, like, if I want to pick up a hot girl, like, are they, do they bring those into the team hotel? I, whatever. This is more of a, a personal thing I have to decide about for my fake Madden character. But, yeah, I like the Do you have a good Marcus. Valentine's Day? Yeah, yeah, it was great. I watched a rom com. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, with, yeah, with a girl. What rom com? Yeah, well. <laughs> There was a girl in it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. You're kind of yeah, her yeah, as, as your date? With a girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Factually speaking, that's a correct sentence. Good for you. Did you have a good Valentine's Day? You were on a date I did. Your wife? Yeah, I went and saw Billy Joel, Madison Square Garden. It was great. Billy Joel. Had a nice uh, Italian dinner. Very good. Billy Joel, does he get the, the, the fucking vibes going on Valentine's no, Day? No, no. Uh, Fiona Apple is the, is the sexiest music out there. That, that title album is great. <laughs> Fiona Apple. What the fuck is Fiona Apple? Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> you know who she is? 
No, I don't. I am serious. People out there. What about like a? But her music's great. What about like a Brian McKnight or like a Boys to Men? Uh, I guess you can go more. Um, no, that was never really did it for me. What is there is a, a female artist somewhat like that I like. I forget. Phoebe Bridges. Okay. Bridge is that a part? I think Bridges. Bridges. Her, her yeah. Bridges, whatever. Yeah. All right. I don't. Know if it's, I, I don't see, I'm not that, in my that. head, those are the same people. Well, I don't think they are. All right. Yeah. Well. Um, so. It, and so the, the, my two would probably be like Beastie Boys and Paul Simon, like instead of Chainsmokers and DJ Kelly. Those are the two I would want. That, that covers all genres for me. Honestly, I'd probably go two friends for Big Booty Mixes. <laughs> the my SoundCloud guys. I love Big Booty Mixes. Tommy Smokes here at Big Booty Land for the premiere of Big Booty Mix 22 by Two Friends. We're going to interview some people in line tonight and see how excited they are. See what these big booty heads have in store for the big premiere tonight. What's up? There you have it. They're pumped. What else? Eh, that's all we have. You think you think the Chiefs still going to be favorites next year? The guy uh, coming back. Right? are right now in the Barstool Sports, or maybe the Chiefs are. Uh, the Chiefs are number one. The Chiefs are number one. Yeah, I mean, five straight. Like they're they're like the Patriots in their heyday, where they're just going to be in the AFC Championship game. So yeah. then you have a yeah. one in four shot at, right. at winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't think Tyreek Hill is there. Like. I said the linchpin of the the offense. I think it's Kelsey. As long as Kelsey's yeah, obviously there, you're not. We know they that. Can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as Kelsey's there, taking up the middle of the field, they'll, they're and they can fine. go get like kind of these, you know, decent receivers like Valdez Scantling or um, Juju. Juju. Yeah, Juju James Schuster. So like, you know, there's, there's guys out there you can kind of fill in the holes. But as long as you have Mahomes and Kelsey, they're gonna, like I said, keep going to the AFC Championship every year. Yeah, I, I just think about like Gronk and Brady, and then you had a whole bunch of, like Amendola, like random people coming right. in there, like kind of Belichick picking them up off the scrap heap and. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sticking with football, Rex Ryan is the top candidate for the Denver, Denver Broncos defensive coordinator position. Love this. So Sean Payton, head coach, Rex Ryan, potentially the defensive, defensive coordinator. I don't think Rex Ryan's a very good head coach, but I think he's a great defensive coordinator. He was an okay head coach. He gets, uh, he's okay. Uh, you know, he was he did decent. He got the Jets to the AFC was, Championship twice. Was it the G? Was it Tannen, Tannenbaum? Was yep. that that the problem for the Jets, not yep. Rex Ryan? Uh, I mean, Rex Mark Ryan. Sanchez was Mark probably Sanchez, part yeah, of the problem. Yeah, if you had to pick a problem, it's we never quarterback. I mean, yeah. that's why they didn't win. But you could also say like Rex Ryan, you know, and Brian Schottenheimer was the awesome offensive coordinator. Maybe that was a problem. But you're right; he's probably best suited to be a defensive coordinator. He hasn't coached since 2016. So I mean, this is it's, this is a good spot for him. I think. Is that a problem that he hasn't coached since 2016? Isn't do you want, like, Joe Gibbs was the coach of the, uh, the formerly known Redskins, and then he came back, like, a decade later, and he Jesus wasn't quite Clark, as good. Right? That's what they were calling. He was the coach there. <sighs> Look, I know you're old school, but we can't be saying That's what they were named. I what, when Joe Gibbs was the coach, that's what the team name was. I've got this haircut, and I wouldn't even say that word. Yeah, are, we, are we pretending that that's not... I, I think it's a terrible name. Pretending. I, I don't even know what happened. You, you yeah. disgust <laughs> yeah. This whole part's getting cut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, what it, that's, what it was, that's what they were. That's who they were. Yeah, so you're saying Native Americans were were that? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying that Washington Football Club was called uh, that. Called the Redskins for many oh years. Oh, my God, again. That's what, they were, that's what they were called. Repulsed. Repulsed. I, I, I didn't name them. No, I'm just playing around. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, got me, yeah. Smokes. I hate liberals. <laughs> Snowflakes. See, I went, I went both sides. Wow, that was so good. I, what, each side can think, oh, he was being serious in that section. But everybody loves me. Do you do you think this is going to solve Denver's problems? I, I think Russell Wilson is is. I don't think he's like done, Russell Wilson. More of the problem. I mean, it, it, it got so bad so fast. I, I have to I have to imagine a lot of it had to do with the coach, um, Hackett, who's now our offensive coordinator with the Jets. I, <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I think uh, he might have been the only coach worse than anyone on the Colts this season, the the, the Denver Broncos yeah. coach. Because in the couple, oh, first Hackett couple games, horrible. he made some horrible I decisions. Mean, night one, the Monday Night Football yeah. against the Seahawks, that, by the end of that game, you're like, you need a new head coach. We, like, we, we, we made the wrong decision. They yeah. fired him before the season was over. Yeah, he I mean, was horrible. So it, I think I like. I also, the the Broncos really don't have. Like I think they need more weapons. Like Jerry Judy's very good, but like Cortland Sutton is okay. Yeah. Like, like they don't really have a tight end. Mm -hmm. Greg, uh, fuck, what's his name? Derlick or so. like they they. I think if he gets more weapons and a better head coach. Was that the pro done. like? Was that like? Did Russell Wilson depend on like DK Metcalf? So much. I mean, he had the. Yeah, you know. but before, like when they won the Super Bowl, he did not have a lot. Of, he had Golden Tate. 
Yeah. Doesn't Paul Dwayne, like, like, yeah. Yeah, he didn't have like. I thought they were pretty serviceable though. They weren't. Right, they weren't he, stars, but they were solid. He's never had until DK. He never had that like superstar wide receiver. Can so just, I don't think he needs that. Yeah. Split open the defense. Yeah. Needs, the top needs something because that team stunk last year. That was bad. I think Sean Payne. I mean, Sean Payne's a, a good coach. Scheme is like you, so important. I don't think he's worth. You think he's worth? What was it like three first picks? I don't think he's worth that much. Yeah, it's that's he's a good gave. coach. But they didn't have any first round picks left. They I, mean, gave they, I think it was Wilson. two. Was it two? two? They gave it. T- they gave it two first round picks. I think, I'm I think sure. something like that. It was uh, from what 2029. 20, like I feel like they gave them all up for Russell Wilson. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't remember what exactly. I know it was, it was at least a first round was involved with that. Sean Payton uh, getting him from yeah, the Saints. Two for. Yeah. I don't know. I, Be- Belichick might be the only coach worth that, and even then, he's, he's, like, he's like seventy that, yeah. years old. Yeah. Andy Reid. Bill Belichick. You know, Bill Belichick without Tom Brady. I'm just saying. Look, uh, look at the stats. Not I mean, really accurate. You got it, but you got it. Bill Belichick had to rebuild an entire team. He didn't. With, he, getting shit picks. You know, Tom Brady got to go and cherry pick a team. Yeah. Coach the, the coach the Browns for five years. Coach the Patriots for a year. Terrible. Then, you know, Brady Reeves, they haven't been very good since they didn't exactly five years. He, did, he has like six Super Bowls. So it's not like Brady won them single handedly. Mm-hmm. I think that, I mean, I like Andy Reid a lot. You could say, oh, Andy Reid has only won with Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, yeah. who is like more but at least probably he, but talented. But he got to the Super Bowl without Patrick Mahomes. Bill Belichick's like a losing head coach. Like his record, he's like, a, I think it's like a 470 winning percentage without Brady. I but, still but think you he can't. won six Super Bowls. It doesn't matter if you have the greatest. <laughs> Roster greatest 53 in the world. Like you got to put it together. All those like uh, all the times Belichick went against Peyton Manning. Like Belichick was game uh, scheming those defensive. You could say yeah. yeah you could also say it was you know, it Tom Brady. Them. You know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just uh, saying. Brady, Belichick without Brady is not great. It's not good even. It's not even average. I mean, yeah. You're I'm gonna be worse if you lose the like the greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah. But he, like I said, he coached the Browns for five years, coached the Patriots for a year before that, he's coached the Patriots for three years a, since. Yeah, you got to have. A, we're talking like nine, ten years now. You've got to have a quarterback for sure. Yeah, I think Mac Jones is solid. He's what? This is going to be his third year. Yeah, yeah. So it's like let, this, let him. Develop. I will say this is a big weapons. year for the Patriots. Yeah, like yeah. A, a pivotal. Well, people did say that last year too, though. They need uh, I, I, mean, I think people are giving him quite a bit of rope. I don't know. Belichick wasn't their problem. I think you get that rope when you win six. <laughs> Maybe you do. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. NASCAR, Daytona 500, this weekend, all weekend, I'll be down in Daytona, Spider will be down in Daytona, Large, Pat, Joey, Alex, don't think Jordan's going, but I'm not sure, Jordan's going to be there, let's just say that. Uh, Tune into Fox at 2.30 Eastern on February 19th for the Daytona 500, 75th anniversary of NASCAR, Daytona 500 is considered the most prestigious and important race in NASCAR and has opened the NASCAR season every February since 1982. This year, Jimmy Johnson will make his NASCAR Cup Series return. Travis Pastrana attempting to qualify for the Daytona 500. I believe he did officially qualify. Uh, Daytona 500, February 19th, 2.30 p.m. on Fox. Rubbin is racing. Check it out. Their first podcast went out today. I think. Yeah, I believe they do it today. Yeah, Spider and Large do a podcast called Rubbin' His Race and Check Monster It Out. Monster interviews. They've Dude. had, like, crazy guests. They've had they've had half of the Mount Rushmore of NASCAR. They had uh, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and then you got to go D- Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt there, but you'll... And then, like, yeah, yeah, and then Richard Petty is probably a fourth of that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Large and Spider. They've seen, they've seen an avenue that Barstool wasn't covering, and they've, they've jumped in, and they love it. Like, I, I can speak to it firsthand from living with Spider. He loves NASCAR. He's, he's always watching the races, and given picks and uh mm-hmm. you know they cover it in a unique way i'll be yeah like i said i'll be down there this weekend lowering the bar i got this haircut just for it joey got it joey did it for me i think he did a pretty solid job did it to be funny but it low-key kind of kind of fucks i don't hate it yeah it's it's like when uh rudy over there like he got frosted tips as a joke and it just looked good in frosted tips like yeah. it's the same but they're gonna mull it as a joke it's like oh you kind of just are pulling it off yeah yeah I do kind of want to get like a side job doing drywall, just to yeah. hang out with some, yeah. some, some <laughs> men. The testosterone in here isn't cutting it. Sorry, fellas. Yeah. You're, you guys aren't here all the time. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, what more testosterone? I mean, the, the I mean, testosterone right this is the three of us is, is like probably run down like ever. Women are getting pregnant just from the hormones no, I mean, in the air. This is a lot. Yep. Yeah. 
Nate too with the Mount Rushmore. Oh, I mean, this, yeah, Barstool's Mount Rushmore of testosterone. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say, Nate? Anything you need to add? Okay. No. You just enjoy it. Yeah. All yeah. right. Next topic: Florida lawmakers want to make field storming a crime. Florida has introduced a bill aimed to keep fans off the field of sporting events. The law would make court storming or court. The law would make court storming or field storming a first-degree misdemeanor, which carries up to a year in jail and fines up to $2,500. What do you guys think? I'm going to be honest. I kind of agree. I don't think this is the worst move. I see it. Like, is it I, really still a problem? Oh. I look, call me, call me, tell me no fun. Call me, tell me safety, if you yeah. will. But I feel like one day, with how many crazy people there are in the world, an incident... I'm sure there have been before, but like a serious incident is going to happen. What's going to happen? I've seen people I don't get know, shoved people fucking stuff. stabbing people or You something? think someone's going to storm the field and start stabbing people? Yes. Someone? I think that's well, completely within the realm of possibility. I don't. I people think you're crazy. People have been the field for hundreds of years. Or hundred years at least, right? I mean, I'm not big, saying somebody's going to I'm not saying someone's going to spontaneously be like, oh, well, let me just take out a step. But like someone could go to the game with the, the <laughs> mindset of I'm going to go there and I'm going to storm the field and I'm going to hurt so people. So what if their team, what if the team loses? Couldn't then they just put the knife back in the pocket <laughs> yeah. and just trudge home? Like, like yeah, is that what you think? Figure out another way but to cause havoc. Couldn't that person right. just say the, the court doesn't get stormed? Couldn't they just be in the stands and start stabbing, stabbing people? people? Right. Yeah. No more fans and stands either. <laughs> <laughs> Solve the problem. Yeah. I just love it. You're like, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. <laughs> like, that's what's going to uh, happen? No. That's insane. I think that, I mean, I think you thinking that it's impossible for there to be a violent issue during court storming is crazy. I mean, there's the more people just, shoving and I stuff like that. more that. The yeah. world's more a like, scary, scary place nowadays. Do you just walk around thinking everyone's going to stab you? It crosses my mind. Yeah. You never know. New York City, or like you a player could get hurt, I think. Like, I guess it's more, probably more that. I mean, that, that happened in the 60s and 70s. Fans would storm the field and, like, try to rip the uniforms off players right. and stuff. That gets a little – that's where it's more dicey. my dad saying uh, Chris Chambliss was big home run in 76. Yeah. He was on the field you know, the at field, Yankee Stadium. He couldn't Stadium. even get to the home – like, yeah. he had to, like, swat fans away just to get to the home um, plate. Yeah, I mean, I just think that one day there's probably going to be a serious issue and then people are going to uh, react to it with the measure. So why not, you know, get ahead of the curve? Be active instead of react. I mean, Monica Seles got stabbed famously. On a tennis court while she was playing tennis. Forget. Why'd she get stabbed? She was just a crazy person, ran on the court and stabbed her. But it wasn't a court storming. It was, she was like in the middle of a, a match and she just got stabbed in the back. Yeah. yeah. But that wasn't during a court storm. That. So it, I don't think you know, the court storm has anything to do with it. I just think, I, I, listen, listen, I didn't propose the bill. I'm just saying that I understand. I think it has some merit. I think if a school storms the court, against an opponent that they shouldn't storm the court against, they should be fine for that. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, Indiana stormed the court against number one Purdue, even though they were, like, the favorites to beat them. And then they stormed and acted like they were... I like, like that. What, what are we doing? stormable. Yeah, what are we doing? Get yeah. out of here. Act like that. Come on. Act like you've been there before. Yeah, it's your number one... It's, I get the number one in the country, but it's your, and it's your rival, but it's, it's your rival. You play them all the time. Anything can happen in that game. Yeah. This only happens the in college now, right? Like, it doesn't happen in the pros anymore. Yeah. It used to happen in the pros. Yeah, I've never seen it in the pros. Just at the too. Well, that's... Are they golf? Wait, I feel like waste management is... Anything like, goes, yeah. The, it's the fans tournament. It's not the... Yeah. The, but I don't know. What happened at the waste management? Someone, it, some guy just ran out on the field. Just was one it, guy? That was, just no one was, was someone stabbed? No, okay. no one was stabbed? No. I mean, one guy, like, you know, that happens in baseball games. Someone would just kind of run around the field and run around. Yeah, around. classic. Yeah. Uh, it was a streaker? Yeah, what do you think of streaking? I don't a mind a streaking. streaker like you. I'm fine with streaking. I well, I mean, funny. yeah, think, all right, let's think about it that way. Streakers get, like, tackled yes. and face, uh, like, you go in jail. So that's not okay. But if it's a bunch of people doing that at the same time, then but it's okay. In unison, celebrating one goal. The Maybe streaker the guy's is just celebrating a, a, yeah, I know, he's he's a, just a drunk idiot, but I don't know. I'm just saying. Look it. Look I, think it. I, I think I did see this. The Yeah, this. this oh. The streaker, yeah, and he jumped in the like the pond or whatever, right? I feel like golf people, uh, granted, it's waste management. Oh man, he's oh, yeah, tearing up yeah. that green. He's, he's oh. stepping too close to the hole. Hole dancing, everything. That's showing off. I feel like golf purists are just rolling over in their graves right now, even if it is waste management. Well, they, they weren't prepared for this guy. There's no one near him. 
in a baseball game, this guy would have been tackled like 10 seconds ago. They send a, a 60-year-old man after yeah. him. <laughs> that guy was just a ball. I guarantee that guy that chased him on the green was just like a volunteer. Yeah. You know, doing that on his, his Sunday. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll hang out at the waste man. Yeah, that was going to streak. Um, uh, Sam Smith was at the, was it VMAs or the Grammys where he did the, the devil performance at the Grammys? Yeah, VMAs are August, I think. Don't ask why I know. Uh, crazy Irish woman heckles Sam Smith for his demonic Grammys performance. You belong, yeah, just yelling, you belong in hell, you're a pedophile, you sick fucker. Uh, this is what I said to Tom when I first met him. That, it's warranted. Demonic, twisted, I, sick bastard. Oh, I, no, I not called a, you a wretched old freak. That's right. No one call each other a pedophile? That's good. Um, I don't want to go too far. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, there's there's yeah, a line. Yeah, yeah, right, for sure. I agree. Um, the most amazing part of this video... Well, I missed his performance. What happened at his performance? It was him and some other person, devil stuff, and just dancing on the stage, doing stuff to get a reaction. And, and there were kids in the performance? I, there, I don't even think there were kids in the performance. So the pedophile thing, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, you just had like devil horns and they were... Gotcha. They were it's like the little Nas X music video. Right, exactly. It's the same outrage... That. Yeah, it's I mean, if, if there were kids in the performance, that that's an issue. But if no, it, I, I, I don't, I don't think there were. Yeah, then is it like the Seinfeld thing when like that priest thought that putty really was the devil? Is it like? Uh, does she those really look think like that, kids? Those no? look like young adults. Ah, yeah, yeah, college. What? Okay, is a college kid a kid? No. no. Yeah, I think those are like college kids. It's also like you should see what the religious people do to kids. Like they, they, you know, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. They got a bad history. The Catholic Church. I think the most, if you watch this video, the most amazing thing is just that this 45-year-old woman knows who Sam Smith is as he's walking through a park. Yeah. Like, I don't think I could spot Sam Smith walking through a park. And this woman, Not anymore. You this got woman, he's apparently just public enemy number one for, for Christian people or, or religious huh. people. So Beautiful they just have voice. his name. Voice of an angel. Oh, so good. Remember when he first came on the scene and everyone was like, wow, I didn't know people could sing like this. Yeah, stay with me. Oh, uh, wow. Hard to say goodbye, whatever that song is called. Too good at goodbye. Sanford didn't seem to care the woman was yelling at him. Either. He almost I, like he kind of expected it. He's like, yeah. He's kind of laughing. Another day in the life. Yeah, he didn't seem to didn't seem to mind. I think when you're a performer and you're doing a Grammy's performance, you're like, okay, I need to get reactions and get this on the internet to get people talking about it. So you, you know people are going to be... Yeah. It's funny to me that the caption is Sam Smith greeted by a fearless Irish woman in New York. I don't think that took that much courage to just yell at Sam Smith. She doesn't like, even get What up. is Sam Smith going to do to you? <laughs> she doesn't even leave her seat either. She just stays yeah. on the bench. All right. After show. Uh, breaking news. There's an investigation going on with Mincy and if he allegedly killed the Vandy Whistler or not. He hasn't been exonerated. And he is a criminal. There's nothing worse than whistling. Whistling is the worst. The most selfish thing someone can do. I don't know how to whistle, why? so I agree. What's, what's, why? why are you it whistling? only pleases the person whistling. No one else wants to hear it. What if a bunch of people are singing in a group, like uh, Bridge on the River yeah. Kwai? They're in a pr uh, prisoner of war camp. Or what if you're a girl walking by a construction worker and he honors you with a whistle? <laughs> yeah. You're pleased about that. It's uh, uh, yeah. a, a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Take it. No, I'm, I'm anti-whistling. I wish we could. I I, wish, you wish, seem like a whistler. I, no, you no. definitely. I mean, it's like we're signing on the thing. I'd be like, that guy does a mean whistle. No, 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 whistle, no. whistle. Like, okay. No, I'm not very good at it. I would have guessed you were one of the, like I would if, I if someone whistling. was like Clemmer's one of the top ten greatest whistlers in no, the world. No, said, yeah, no, that makes no. Sense. I'm anti that checks out. But but no one should die for it though. Like Mincy step. Assuming Mincy did this, Mincy was way out of bounds killing. I agree. Yeah. Murder, murder's never okay. That's not right. Especially first degree murder. I mean, yeah. he knew what he was doing. He Clemmer. lawyered up already. He sees texts to Big yeah. Cat. He's like, I talked to my mom. Like, he said he has a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, it's... staying silent. I was like, and the video he posted does look like he was just burying a dead body. He looks... <laughs> the video where he's like, I didn't kill the Vandy yeah. Whistler. Yeah. He looks absolutely disheveled. Dis disheveled. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is yeah. a man who just killed a person. Yeah. But I just want to put one thing to rest. All these people are blowing up my timeline saying I killed the Vandy Whistler? You people are sick. What the hell do you think I am, a murderer? Y'all are messed up, man. I mean, the man might annoy the hell out of a lot of people, but to accuse me of murder? It's shameful. It's like he should have I mean, said like blood stains right. all over his like <laughs> shirt. I, uh, going back, I will say Clemmer does look like a guy that would like whittle and whistle. 
Oh, just sitting yeah. there on a porch and just a rocking chair. Yeah, play my Running baseball simulator and, and just just slowly rock. No, now you wouldn't play the baseball simulator. You'd listen to the game on the radio. Yeah. Oh, I do that. Yeah, I have the uh, app. No I get shit. all the games. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's, you get every game now. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's a good. App. It's a great. Yeah. So you make fun of me, but you do the same thing. I don't listen. I, I don't listen. You've never listened to the game on the radio. I have, but it's not my preferred option. And my favorite preferred thing. It's a great way to get around. I mean, when you got John Sterling and Susan Wallman, it is a great option. So I will Ugh. sometimes just listen to them. Brutal. The, the worst. Uh, White Sox Dave and Jeff Nadu had a uh, broad off it, in the Chicago Barstool Bar on Valentine's Day. Right? Right. Okay. I'm, I got my days mixed up earlier, and now yep. I got to fucking get them right. Uh, they had a broad off. Uh, Jeff D. Lowe, or Jeff D. Lowe, Jeff Nadu got a pretty, a variety of, of things in his, his gift. It was like McDonald's gift cards, nice perfume. Uh, was McDonald's gift cards in there? I mean, that was like the. Mm-hmm. What they had I each got a little extra a money gift? left. Here we go. Get our candles, some some perfume, some lipstick, a nice card, and then a couple of McDonald's gift cards. Like, a, hey, maybe we just stay in and, and order right. okay. Grubhub. Yeah. Clever. What's the best gift you've given your wife for a birthday or, or Valentine's? I Day? I propose on Valentine's Day, so I engagement ring. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank now, you. No, but like, oh, like an so actual gift. Yeah, like a gift. Uh, that's that's a that's nah. to get the marriage. That's a right. out. Not counting now. What's second? Um, I, I mean, we, I usually just do like we like to do. So I go to a, di- a restaurant. Like I try to make notes throughout the year, like what she likes. I try to make a little note. Oh, she wants to go to this restaurant. You write it down, and you you know that's where you go on Valentine's Day or her birthday Damn. or something. Experiences over things. Yes, yes. You try pretty hard writing stuff down throughout the year. Yeah, try it's hard. Also, uh, help. man card. Yeah. <laughs> wow. For Christmas too. Like you mentioned, she likes something. You write it down. Wife wants. You must really like your wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Yes. 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 So that's that's good. Yes. Valentine's Day. I had, I came home with a mullet. Had my wife get me a beer out of the fridge. <laughs> and that was yeah. that was my Valentine's Day. The, her so, gift is to serve. Yep. Yeah. To serve man. Tommy, uh, when was Mincy? Was arresting Mincy your last prank? Uh, yeah, that was my last smoke show episode. Smoke show. What do you What do you have in the works? Uh, Anything? Are you going, going to say? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start shooting season two of that soon. Have have probably six episodes outlined, uh, and then me, Rudy, and Caroline are uh, we're gonna be starting a variety show. We're gonna be p- pivoting our podcast. Please end this into a. Uh, whatever we talked about this more on something that'll come out Tuesday, but it's going to be sort of like a bi-weekly live premiere variety show with like sketches, uh, improv, just a I don't know a comedy experience thing. And you're going to be involved with it. I listed my name. That's too bad. Brandon Walker will be doing his vagina monologue on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that every, it's something for everybody. Yeah. Follow the short porch on social. Go listen to my Survivor podcast. Uh, yeah, Clummer's on that too. Uh, the March? bracket out today. Great bracket. Oh, great bracket. Today. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. What was it? Uh, things you don't want to find in an apocalypse. That's a good one. And it turns out I uh, was molested as a child. So that's the tease. A very revealing. Ah. Very revealing yeah. episode. Yeah. So Oakland A's fans, check that out. And <laughs> people that want to hear about Tommy Catholics. getting molested, check that. Out. <laughs> yeah. right. All right. That's it. That's the rundown. Thank you. And lowering, I mean, you didn't do any parts for yourself. I'm selfless.